I mean, I imagine there's another part of this which people forget is that if you report on stories for long enough, yeah. there will be residue in your head and in your heart Absolutely, of man. the things you've said. Absolutely. And, it's, and most of it's negative. Yeah. I mean, that's the nature of news. You don't get to, to, say, to say a lot of happy things. But one of the things I had sort of, you know, you don't make a change like that quickly. You don't, uh, you think about it. And I thought about it for three years. And then you begin to see signs, right, that the universe is taking you in a place. So I had, I had one of those with Obama's inauguration. I was on the, the, the lawn of the Capitol Dome there, and um, this uh, African-American man came up to me, and uh, he said he had delivered newspapers to all the congressmen as a young boy, but never felt that the place was his. And uh, he, I told him I was from Canada, and he said, um, you know, welcome to my capital, too. And I thought, <laughs> wow. So I had this really lovely, pure American moment. And I, as you know, I've worked in the States for a while. And then I came back, uh, and we, we had the 2010 Olympics. And I had the, probably the most joyous, profound Canadian experience in my life there. And I thought, okay, I, I'm, a, I'm a bit dual, right? I'm a bit, I feel a bit American still. I'm profoundly Canadian. I had two stories of absolute pure joy. Right. Time to quit. Go on top, because everybody says once you get those moments, just close the just, book. Just, yeah, just know. Sometimes it's harder to leave than it is to stay. Is first week of September when your show launched, 2001, it was September 3rd or something like that? Yeah. Oh, so just a week later, then all of a sudden this. Yeah. It's uh, from around the world that are destined to uh, Washington, D.C. or New York City are being diverted to Canada. What are we seeing here? Let's, the second tower. The, the second tower, tower looks like it is collapsing. Is collapsing. You are watching this picture live from New York City. The second tower has just collapsed of the World Trade Center. What do you think of that? Uh, well, first of all, it still makes me tear. Um, it, was, uh, it was the culmination of everything that I had learned here at the CBC. Uh, at CTV and at ABC, and that's, you know, never get ahead of the story, but, uh, and try to keep you cool in a moment like that. But afterwards, I mean, we were on the air at a brand new network and a brand new national newscast, as you said, about four or five days in, and I was driving back, it was based in Vancouver, and I saw, it was, you know, if you remember, it was a beautiful day. Yeah. And I was, I, I saw the North Shore Mountains there, and uh, pulled over to the side and bawled my eyes out for about half an hour. Really, and yeah. people forget that you're going to be a human being about yeah. this. Yeah, and then there's, and there's some psychic damage that, over time, comes with that. And uh, I'm a much happier man now.